Hey guys, sad, sad, sad time we live. And I finally finished the Chucky movies until we get the next one, which will probably be a continuation of the show, or at least trying to end the show some way. If they do another one, they might actually end up rebooting and rebooting at this time because Brad Dorth is getting old. <laughs> um, but besides that, this movie has left me with so many questions, which you'll see at the end. I already recorded all my questions for this movie. This is the only one that I literally have questions for. Because there's parts of this one that make no sense, and I get to try and connect every movie together. But this it just doesn't. And you'll see what I mean. Um, Review-wise, this movie's pretty bland. I mean, you're in a white asylum for the whole movie. I mean, yeah, it helps the blood pop out more. And I will admit, a couple of the kills are cool. Like where he stomps the crap out of the Chucky doll. And tears into its stomach. And it makes me think the head looks like a smashed cherry pie. <laughs> but, um, also, they kind of already did that kill once with the doctor. So, thinking back on that, it wasn't as impressive as I remembered it being. Um, the oxygen tank kill... I think it would have been cooler if they would have done it more, like, practical. Where he th throws the tank in a bus, but it just looks really CGI'd. Kind of like the dragon juice trip that they have, which I talk about in the question part. Also, you might hear whining in a few burpees on my bed. And he likes to whine. Um, but other than that, this movie's alright. Um, I wish they would have shown the kills a little bit better. Because there's a couple kills that would have been cool to see if they could have executed it right. I don't know if it had to do with censorship or what. But they did have the drill kill in there, and that one was kind of cool. Where Malcolm's talking about too many voices in his head, so Chucky lets them leak out. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, other than that, like, the old lady, we didn't get to see her death. We didn't see get to see Nika's attempt on herself. Um, we didn't really, we kind of got to see part of the one lady that puts her arm, or puts Shucky's arm in her mouth. We kind of got to see that one. But at the same time, we didn't. Like, I wanted to see how he popped his arm back into her mouth. And how he was able to pull that off without bleeding. Which, also thinking about the stuff with how, um, in the last movie, when Chucky's head got cut off and he got stabbed, he was still alive. I don't understand how that worked. Um, I just now thought about that, and I could have put that in the end of that one. Other than that, that's basically what I really have to say review-wise. Um, it's cool to see Andy actually come back. I remember seeing the teaser at the end. And they said Andy, and I looked it up because I was curious if that was the guy that played him. Because I didn't know until this one came out that there was two different actors that played Andy. Oh, until Curse came out, not Colt. And then they teased that, and then this one's trailer comes out. I don't... I did not do a reaction to the trailers because I did not have my YouTube channel yet. And I didn't really start doing reactions until uh, like a year or two into my channel. Because I know in 2019 I did a Chucky uh, reboot review. Because that's when they had the Toy Story campaign posters coming out. Because Toy Story 4 was coming out at the same time. You know, that was my Barbieheimer or Bobbenheimer, whatever it was called. And, um, yeah, that's... It's just it's crazy, but it's, I've been through so much stuff on this channel. It's nuts. Um, that's pretty much it. Like, comment, share, subscribe, turn on notifications. I will see you guys in the next one, which I think will be the review of the reboot. If I can find somewhere to watch it, it says it's on Prime. If it's on Prime for free, because I have Prime right now, I could watch it. I'm going to check, and if it is, I will watch it and do a redo of my re um, review of it, just so it's in, done in the newer format, and I will also leave the original review in there as, like, a bonus content thing. So, yeah. Hey guys, Smokey here with The Cult of Chucky. I have not completely finished it yet. I still got, like, 13 minutes left, but I just started thinking of some stuff. There's a lot of in-between stuff, you know, you don't really get to see in this one. Like, it leads into the TV show, and I'm trying to remember parts of the TV show, but TV, I didn't like the TV show that well. Like, I did. The first season was good. The rest of it was meh. 
Um, but there's just so many questions oh, right. no, from you. this. Like, the other big guy in the room. If the, like, I was thinking, you know, with the season two where they revealed Jennifer Tilly's in the <laughs> Tiffany doll body, why is the Tiffany doll laughing at the end of this when her and, uh, t um, Tiffany and, yeah, Nika go away, um, I don't remember if it shows how Andy gets out of the asylum or not in the TV show. So that was another question I have. I'd have to look it up. Uh, oh, what else was there? Uh, yeah. The doctor in this is the one dude. Is he a twin brother of the mayor's husband from the Chucky show? Or something like that. I know there was that theory. There's something else. I can't remember what it was. Um... I can't remember what it was now. Oh, I had so many questions earlier for this movie, but um, what exactly happened to Alice? Oh, and also, you know, like they say that she got killed, basically, but what actually happened, I would have liked at least seen some flashbacks. Also, there's some weird flashbacks of this. So when Nika's going in her uh, drug-induced coma, there are scenes from Child's Play 3 of Chucky with his face cut off. And if that hallucin that I'm okay with that because you know that's the last one Andy was in before this. But would it make more sense for Andy to have that type of hallucination than Nika, who was not around when that happened? Um, you know, I found that part weird. And the giant Chucky doll that they have also in that hallucination just looks weird. That is it for now. I'm gonna finish this movie real quick, and then I will come back. To actually do a movie, the movie review, which will be before this part. So, yeah.